John. Yeah, man. Couldn't sleep. Yeah. Me either. I don't know. I just couldn't relax, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean, man. Probably just the first night in your house thing, but still. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. I don't think I've ever slept right my first night in a new house. It's just, it's just the first night thing. Hey, that's not my juice you're drinking, is it? You know, you're probably right. We'll get over in a few days. It's just a new house thing. My, my juice was your juice. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. See, these are bacon snaps. Oh, there they are. They're disgusting, man. You know, they are really good. You haven't even tried them. More than three. Well, good afternoon, Gregory. Congratulations. You managed to sleep just long enough to avoid doing any actual work. You slept okay, I assume. Yeah, yeah, I slept fine. I, uh, you guys were up at 3.30, though. Oh yeah, me and John were just down here, you know, discussing the intimacies of three handsome young boys living together and the limitless possibilities for toward affairs. Yeah, we couldn't sleep. Yeah, that happens, man. New place, it'll, it'll do that to you. Whose mug is this? This mug is gargantuan. So how's work? Uh, you know, I was okay, man. Yeah, just got back from a test. I don't think I did very good, man. 
haven't been sleeping. Yeah, I haven't either. Yeah. I think something's wrong with like the vent in my room or something, because there's this rumbling noise every single night. I have to have my headphones on. Dude, see you last night? What? Last night I woke up in the basement. What? I woke up in the basement. You never slept for sleep. You've never walked in your sleep before. I know, I know I haven't. It's just, I don't know, but ever since we moved into this house, I haven't gotten a decent night's sleep. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. It's like a, like an uneasiness, queasy kind of thing, you know? It's like a, like morning sickness, except, you know, at night. Sometimes I think when I first wake up that I can see something. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, mo mostly I mean, it's just like this feeling I get, but... No, I haven't really ever seen anything. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. One of my aunts is a cop, and she could probably pull some kind of like police file on the house, see if, ever, see if there's ever been like any complaints or anything wrong with the place. Maybe turn something up. Yo, John, you want some tacos? Yeah, yeah man. They're good. Watch and learn, my young apprentice. This is the incredible bouncing throw. Oh, you see that? That's no good. It missed. Oh, it missed? Yeah, jackass. Anytime C throws a frisbee, it's the frisbee's fault, not C's fault. It must be a pretty crappy frisbee then. Here, jackass. Catch my ultimate vertical throw, death. <laughs> Damn it. Don't hurt yourself, jackass. I'll get it. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, Sarah, there's something I wanted to tell you. What is it? Well, you know, you and I... It's alright. You can tell me. Yeah, I know. It's... What is it? I'm Batman. And coming. Ah! Son of a bitch. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Batman? Well, I didn't think Spider-Man would be believable. <laughs> Craig, it's not that you chose Batman over Spider-Man. Right. You chose a superhero. Hey, we got some mail. Well, what would you have chosen? I wouldn't have chosen anybody. Look, if you wanted to tell her you liked her, just tell her you like it. I don't get it. How long have you known Sarah? Like six months. Okay, Wait, you guys, check this out. This is the police report from my aunt. Remember okay. the one I told you about? That was quick. Okay. Yeah, I know, but look at this, okay? In this house, the guy that was living here in the 1930s, he just disappeared, vanished without a trace. It says after then, that, a married couple moved in. Right, yeah. And the wife was murdered. Oh my god. It was a sharp object. Just 15 minutes before her husband arrived home. Oh my god. It says she was cut to shreds. Wait a minute. And the husband was found dead later that week? Yeah. I think it was a suicide. So it says they think it was a suicide, but it looks like there was an investigation and they never found out for sure. It... <laughs> Alright. Listen to me about this, guys. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but I've been having these dreams. And whoa, whoa, this whoa, whoa. fits. This what? Dreams? Yeah, I just this this man swimming in this story, it just it just fits. I think that all the things that have been going on around here. I think it's the husband trying to get home in time to save his whoa, life. Whoa. I think. See, you're talking about ghosts. You think our you think our house is haunted? Well, okay. I think, considering our situation, we have to be open-minded and consider every possibility. And to me, this looks like the most reasonable. Reasonable. Yeah. Well, John, are you first, hearing this? Just... Reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's not ghosts. I mean, it's just something wrong with the house, right? Well, listen. You guys know how many books I've read about ghosts, right? I know what I'm talking about. All right, about this. There. Okay. There's ways. That we can check on this, okay? Oh, there's... see, there's no ghosts. Screw your ghosts. No, you're Screw too your quick to dismiss this as a possibility. Greg, no, listen I'll, to me. You're Just being a jerk. listen to.
Hey man, you up? Yeah, I'm... I'm... Did you hear that? Hear what? The... Uh, nothing, I guess. It was nothing. Um, what's up, man? I, I can't sleep. You want, maybe want to go out and get something to drink? Uh... Yeah, sure, um... Just give me a minute to get ready. Alright. Miss T? Yeah, what's up, Greg? Sorry about what I said before about you and your ghosts. Don't sweat it, man. It's fine. Look, what you said about the man trying to get home? Yeah. It makes sense with, with some dreams that I've been having, too. And do you know what you're doing with this ghost stuff? Yeah, yeah, totally. I know what I'm doing, Greg. Then I want to try it. What do you have in mind? Oh, yeah, filming the TV. This is... This is great. Look, I told you about this. It's ITC, Instrumental Transcommunication. Okay, one more time. The camcorder is connected to the TV, and I'm filming the TV, so I'm gonna record the same image over and over again ad nauseum, right? Feedback. Right, I'm gonna reach feedback. There'll be this frequency produced on the TV from this, and that's the frequency the ghosts operate on. With that, we can communicate with the ghost. And tell him what? Well, it's the husband of the murdered chick, right? Yeah. So we'll just tell him something like, his wife is at peace and he can stop haunting our house. Oh, yeah. It would be fools not to try this. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Yeah. 